Hi, this is James with Internet Flotation Devices, and today I'm going to show you how we solved a little bit of a problem we've been, we've been dealing with. Uh, we had a customer that wanted to have a product for sale on their website with a, uh, a monthly service charge. So you'd sell the hardware product and charge the first month's service, and then um, and then uh, you'd charge that monthly service charge on a recurring payment basis um, uh, over the you know every month uh, until until they're done. So uh, we had a little bit of a problem with Ubercart because Ubercart wasn't um, uh, wasn't wanting to uh, let us do the recurring payments uh, exactly the way we wanted to, and and it seems like there's a lot of other people having problems with uh, recurring payments out there these days. So uh, what I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we solve this recurring payments problem, and then um, uh, you know hopefully that'll help you with with what you. Um, are doing. So this product, of course, is a, a is a, a GPS tracking unit that you plug into your your uh, uh, diagnostic port on your car. Uh, it's um, a certain price for the hardware, and then the the recurring payment, you know, is is depends on the um, depends on the service plan that you purchase. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to content create content and we're going to we created this product page overview content type and this product page overview is going to be the page that shows all of the options so I'm going to uh, create a product called test 001 and I'm going to give it a logo I'm just using the Drupal logo here where is it here it is and then let's put in some test copy for overview. And I'm going to select all that and just repaste it. So that's my overview page. All right. And pretty much that's all we need to do. So once we save that, here's our our uh, overview page. And then we need to go back and we need to create products to show on this overview page. So I'm going to go create content product and I'm going to call this um, um, weekly plan. Um, yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to give it this product overview page of a test 001. So we're going to give it a hardware price of, uh, say, $10. And we're going to give it a service plan recurring price of $5. And we'll give it the same product image. And we'll give it a product description. Let's go weekly product description. And this, these names are just, they're just to put stuff in here. So, we don't need to worry about vocabularies. That's something that we, we don't really need. So, I need to give it an SKU, weekly 001, give it a list price of... Um, now, the, the 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 list price and the sell price here is going to be the the uh, sum of these two. So this is going to be the price that we charge when we actually um, uh, make the make the sale. So it's fifteen dollars. Sell price is fifteen dollars, and we have to for shipping purposes we have to give it a weight. So let's give it a weight of one pound, and we'll give it a shipping. You know, let's we'll give it some dimensions. All right, we're going to leave the default package quantity, and we're going to leave all this thing to default. Okay, and once we're done, we save it. All right. So, it's got a, a hardware price of $10 and a recurring price of $5. 
So this this goes goes in line with what uh, what uh, CyberChick is it CyberChick I think um, uh, or WebChick I'm sorry uh, said in her in her uh, release notes for for the recurring payments. Um, so the next thing we need to do is we need to go back in here to edit it and go to features and make sure it has a recurring fee on there. So we're going to choose that one that we created. The recurring fee amount is not set to the recurring fee amount, same as selling price. We want it to be the same as the recurring fee that we set up on the, on the product page. And the first initial charge is going to be charged one month after, and then we're going to set it for every month after that. And it's an unlimited number of rebuildings. So we save it. Okay, and so now we have, on our Buy Now page, we have, oh, it's not there. Content management, content types. Let's go and list these. So our, I think it's our product overview page. I must have missed something here. So let's edit this to make sure it shows. Oh, we forgot to add it to node queue. That's right. So we have a node queue set up for those products to, to show on the buy now page. Now it's on, it's on, it's in the node queue. So if we go to buy now, it shows up there. And when we click on it or the, the learn more, we've got one product. When we add this to our cart, it adds an item to our cart with a total of $15. Okay. Now when we purchase this, we'll be charged $15. Then a month from now, we'll be charged a recurring service fee of just, just $5. So that's how we got around the recurring payments issue. We've tested this for thoroughly and uh, this method works for us. Um, uh, I, I don't, the, some of the other things that we've tried is setting up attributes and, um, and uh, doing recurring payments on attributes, but those didn't work because the recurring payments did not, um, they only looked at the product, not the product attributes. So um, instead of going all the way down and, and, and trying to uh, do things that way, uh, this is the way we got around it. Now you can see that if you set up multiple products, uh, and, and set them up the same way we did this weekly plan product that you would get lots more uh, lots more options here. And I can show you how that looks by going to the Buy Now page and clicking on the one that we've already set up where it has four attributes. These are actually four different products that we've put uh, that we've set up and put in uh, put in this IQ Light tracking unit. So uh, as always, uh, thanks for watching. If there's any questions, we'll be happy to, to uh, answer anything you have. Just go to www.internetflotationdevices.com, click on contact, and drop us a line. Thanks a lot.